This time of year, most of the bulls are broken off into bull spike groups and then cow calf groups, and maybe some spikes are in there as well, but generally they're separated by gender. We handle elk specifically for three reasons. One is so that we have a good estimate of the population. We use the marked animals versus the unmarked animals to estimate the population. Two is habitat selection, so an animal has a collar on it. We know where it is and we can deduce that there's something valuable at that location where it is. And then three is survival analysis. Again, they have a collar on. We know that they're alive or dead. There's three primary ways that we capture elk. The first is free darting. You have to be within about 40 yards of the animals to get that to, to work effectively. The second one is a clover trap. So that's a single animal trap. They're baited in, they go into the trap, they hit a trip wire and a door drops behind them. And then we can dart them in the trap and process them that way. And then the third one is what you see behind me is the corral trap. It's a multi-animal trap. It's very large and it can hold up to like 10 elk. So again, we're baiting them in and it has a large swing door on it that we trigger remotely to close on the animals. We do monitor the vitals as well. So we take a heart rate, we take respiration, we take a temperature. Most of the time under this circumstance, we're just taking a blood sample. The collars we use are GPS collars. So every 13 hours, they're gonna turn on, connect all the satellites, determine a latitude, longitude, location. That gets stored in the collar and then uploaded to the satellites. And within about an hour of that fix being acquired, it gets sent to a server and then we can download it with any internet connection. Over the course of two weeks, you basically get one location every hour of the day. We try to get our collars spread as evenly as possible across both genders and then across the geography. The collars will last about four years in this case. So they're on a time release that after three and a half years, the collar drops off and we can go pick it back up. All the collars have a built-in mortality switch, which means that after eight hours of not moving, they will go into mortality mode, which lets us know that A, the, the animal is dead and the, the, uh, the collar's not moving anymore, or B, the uh, collar's fallen off and we can go pick it up. Today we're taking the corral trap down because it's basically halfway through March. As it warms up, they're gonna move on to natural forage and the animals don't respond really well to bait anymore. So we're done for the season.